I'll show you today how you can change out the, the O-rings and the valves of this uh, 2150 cap pump. And these 2150 cap pumps, the valves are in this section right here. You can take this cap off. There's six valves. The uh, output and the intake valves. And the, behind these sections here is the uh, pistons. There's ceramic pistons in these. They also have O-rings and uh, seal valves, but we're not gonna uh, break it all the way down today. We're gonna just do the valves here, and I'll show you how to do that. Basically, what you need is a 15 16 socket, and basically, you just pull it on here and turn it and loosen it up. Oh, let's see. It's gonna get a little better. A lot of times when you first turn these loose, they... So you open it up like this. There's an O-ring here. Usually it's not too bad shape, so I don't regularly change them. Get this crud off there, just hard water build up. Okay. Okay, we got uh, the water turned off, the power turned off, and there's weep water going through here now, but I got this backflow preventer, so all the water goes out this way, and there's a the weep water comes in through these lines and uh, comes in here. And so got all the everything turned off and so basically I want to pull this valve out there's a little housing for it I just use a little hook tool put it down here and kind of wiggle it around break it loose turn on this other side okay it didn't all come out at one time so here I got the uh, top part of that valve with the spring Helps if you have a little magnetic tool to bring that uh, valve seat out. And then you can just reach in there with your hook tool. And this can be a little hard sometimes because they get sealed in there. Been in the use for quite a long time. This one's been in here since probably three or four years. Wrestle around with it a little bit. Whoop, there it goes, pops out. Okay, this is it. That little white ring and black ring are the seals for this valve, so that's what I'm going to be replacing. I'll show you how to do that. And so basically, what you'd have to do is go through each one of these. There's six of them. And when you open these, they'll, all this water that's in here will drain out where they need debris. It's probably good before you start putting them back in to open the water, let it flush this out area out. So if there's any little pieces of uh, debris, so like on my finger there, there's a little, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little debris piece. There's uh, a lot of hard water that builds up and creates problems sometimes. You get stuck under these valves and leave them open and they won't have the pressure you want. So that's basically what we're doing is replacing these seals so that you can have the pressure you want. These are supposed to be good up to 2,000 PSI, but we run them about 12 to 1,300 PSI. That way it's safe. These valves have an O-ring seat. The 310 also works in the 2150 cap pumps. So that, as you can see here, this is the part number for the uh, rubber uh, seat O-ring, and then you have the the white one, and it's also got a part number here, and it's the backup ring. As you notice, it's for the 310 pump, cap pump, but it also works for the 2150. And uh, they're a little stiffer, here's, here's two of them. 
close up. This one's harder. The rubber ones, the black ones are rubber. It's kind of soft. So I'll show you how I install those. And Okay, so you got the old um, seals in here. So just take a hook tool and pull them off. And then you want to put the new one in. And the, uh, the black one goes on the bottom. And the white one. You see how I just slipped over that? And the white one goes on top of that. Like that. And then you uh, put your valve seat back on there, like that. I always like to take the, the spring is pretty compressed. I like to kind of stretch that spring out a little bit. So it gives a little more pressure on there. And that way I can just put that on there. And then that seat's right back on there, just like that. You can't get it pressed down. You might have to take a, a channel locks or something and put your finger on there but see how that snaps on there you're ready to go this is ready to install back into the uh, pump I got them all out I got all the valves out you know, on the bottom here one of them came out whole the rest of them come apart uh, this one's the only one that came out whole it was a little looser in there for some reason I don't know why but it didn't get sealed in there. Uh, since I got all this open up, and there may be just a little debris or whatever down in the hole, what I want to do is uh, open the valve, let some water flush it out, and uh, open these up so these oops, just pushes all the water out a couple times like that. Turn the water off. Okay, I've got these put together. Just stick them down in there and, and uh, let them fall in. A lot of times they'll fall right into, right into the seat. But as you can see, this one here is a little bit off. You have to wiggle it around, get it down in there. That one's down in there. You do them all that way. Put your caps back on. And uh, you'll be ready to go here in a little bit. In straight, ready. So, tighten it up and then we'll give it a shot. You're going to want to inspect your O-ring on here. Make sure it's in good shape. And uh, so you don't want it leaking around that. So there's some pressure build up behind this. So that's what this O-ring is for. So as you're installing these, make sure you check every one of them. Uh, is, since there's going to be a little air trapped in here, I need to uh, open this. Uh, pressure line open just to crack it open a little bit before I turn the pump on Make sure you turn your water on you want to run your pump dry You want to change the back off the pressure on this So that it uh, When you start it up, it's not full pressure and once you get it going you can Turn it back and put the pressure back on So right here I've got this cracked open right there in that connection and so that's so that I can relieve the pressure and let all the air bleed out. I'm gonna go over here and start up this pump. Let me the, I get to it. Okay, okay turn, the, turn the switch back on first. And then I can turn it manually on. And start the pressure up and I can turn it off and close up my... Uh... Okay, we're gonna fire it up. And and see if it works. Not the bleeding off the air. See what's going on. Let's try it. Manual start up here. Good pressure. 